This is how you get started with the Acorns investing app. Acorns is an easy to use investing app for beginners and hands-off investors that specializes in automation and simplifying the investing process. From roundups and recurring investments to portfolio rebalancing and dividend reinvesting, we're breaking down how to navigate the Acorns app in a beginner-friendly way. We're diving straight into how to get started on the Acorns app, how to set up your diversified portfolio, and how to get the most out of all the app's investing automation features. Now, if this is your first time exploring Acorns, I highly recommend you first check out my Acorns review video right here, where I give you a broader overview of the app, its investments, and all its features to help you decide if Acorns is the right choice for you. I'll be also be sure to link that video down below and in the pinned comment. But if you're ready to explore how to use Acorns, let's dive right in. So after you sign up and create a new Acorns account, this is going to be the homepage dashboard you see inside your Acorns app. It'll give you an overview of your Acorns portfolio value, also access tabs to your investing, retirement, and checking accounts on Acorns. So on the investing page of your Acorns app, this is where you'll see some deeper insights into your Acorns portfolio and your investments. As you can see at the very top, you'll be able to see your current Acorns portfolio value. And if you click on these arrows right in that green area, that'll open up your portfolio tracker over time. So you can see how your Acorns portfolio has performed over the past day, over the past month, year to date, over the past year, over the past five years and all time. So this is a great way to come track your Acorns portfolio. If you scroll beneath that, it'll then show you your different Acorns investment accounts. Let's start off first with the Acorns personal portfolio, the individual investment account. If you click on that where it says invest, this will open up your Acorns individual investment account. And here's where you can update some settings as well as adjust your Acorns portfolio. On this page, you'll be able to update your Acorns portfolio as well as turn on investing automation features. The first investing automation feature is Acorns Roundups. With Acorns Roundups, you can link a debit card or a credit card to your Acorns app. And anytime you make a purchase with that card, Acorns will then round up to the nearest dollar and invest that difference back into your Acorns portfolio. So for example, Let's say if you buy a sandwich for $5.50, Acorns will then round that up to $6 and invest that extra 50 cents back into your Acorns portfolio for you. Now to turn on Acorns roundups, you simply click on where it says roundup settings, and this is where it opens up roundups mode. So if you turn on automatic with this little green toggle where it says set to automatic, it says with automatic on, when your roundup change reaches a minimum of $5, it will then be pulled from your primary checking account and invested back into your Acorns portfolio. The next feature is Acorns recurring investments, and you'll find this beneath the roundup settings where it says recurring. If you click on recurring, this will open up the ability to turn on a recurring investment into your Acorns portfolio. You can choose an amount that's desirable to you, such as let's say you want to invest $5, or you can say $25 or even $50, whichever amount you prefer. You then click on the set recurring amount, you can then choose the frequency where it says when. If you click on when, you can say, I want to invest this $50 every day, every week, every month. The option is to you. And if you choose the week, you can choose the day of the week. If you choose the month, you can choose the day of the month to set this recurring investment. By turning on recurring investments on Acorns, this can be a great way to automate your investing over time and help grow your portfolio with the power of compound interest. Now, if we back out of recurring investments and go back to the home page of investing, you'll also notice that in addition to setting up recurring investments into Acorns, you can also make one-time investments as well. You'll see this button right here that says one time. If you click on one time, this is where you can make a single lump sum investment. So say you want to invest, you know, $65 one time, simply type in your desired amount, click on review, and this will allow you to invest a one-time investment. Now, if we back out of one-time investments and go back to the investing page and we scroll further down beneath this, this is where we get into the actual portfolio options on Acorn. From here, you'll be able to see your portfolio, its holdings, and its performance in greater detail to really help give you an idea of what you're actually investing in on Acorns. So as you can see at the very top, you'll notice your overall portfolio value broken down into a pie chart. And beneath that, you'll see the actual ETFs that are inside your Acorns portfolio. In this example, this portfolio is made up of four stock ETFs, and you can click on any ETF such as VOO. This is a very popular Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. And, you can, once you, and when you click on any ETF, you can scroll down 
and you can view that ETF's performance over the past day, over the past three months, over the past year, over the past three years, over the past five years. And if you scroll beneath that, you can also see your position, the market value of your current holdings of this ETF. You can see how many shares you own of this ETF. You can view today's return and the total return of this ETF inside your Acorns portfolio. And if you scroll up back to the top and you click on about, this will give you a little information on the ETF you're investing in. And if you scroll down, you can find some more stats such as the market cap, its opening price, its closing price, its 52 week range, as well as further beneath that, you'll find the top holdings inside each ETF. So these are the actual stocks that the ETF, that the exchange traded fund is composed of. In this example with VOO, some of the top holdings are Chase, Berkshire Hathaway, Tesla, Alphabet, Meta, Nvidia, Amazon, Microsoft, and Apple. Now, if we scroll back up to the top of your invest portfolio and you click on that edit button on the top right corner, this will open up the option to update your Acorns risk tolerance and your portfolio. So you'll see options to add things such as Bitcoin, adjust your risk tolerance, and even change your portfolio theme. Let's go over these one at a time and we're first going to start off with the risk level. So if you click on risk here, this will open up the five different Acorns core portfolios. You have aggressive, moderately aggressive, moderate, moderately conservative, and conservative. So as you can see, each portfolio gives you a breakdown of what it's composed of, as well as some considerations beneath that. With the conservative portfolio, this is composed of 100% bonds and 0% stocks. If you scroll beneath that, you'll also find an overview on the different bond ETFs inside this portfolio. Again, just like with the other ETFs, you can click on any one and view its performance and other information. If you back out of there, you can also see considerations for this particular portfolio. If you click on considerations, the risk level Acorn says this is a, a very low risk level for this portfolio. And it says, consider this portfolio if your risk tolerance is low. And if you value more on protecting your portfolio value, rather than growing it, if you have a relatively short time horizon for investing, so on and so forth. That is the conservative portfolio. Next up, we have the moderately conservative portfolio. This is now composed of 60% bonds and 40% stocks, so it's a little more balanced. Again, with the moderately conservative portfolio, again, you can scroll down, look at the holdings inside the ETFs inside that portfolio, as well as the projection further beneath that. And if you scroll back up, you can read considerations. This is a little higher risk, but still on the lower end of the risk spectrum. Again, again, it says consider this portfolio if you're comfortable accepting a small amount of risk and you're willing to accept lower returns for lower risk. Now, if we scroll back up to the top and view next the moderate portfolio, this is now flipped. It's 40% bonds and 60% stocks. So it's still balanced, but a little more tilted towards stocks. Again, just like the other portfolios, you can scroll down, view the holdings, the ETFs in each portfolio, as well as the 10 year projection. Now, if we scroll back up to the top and we go to considerations for the moderate portfolio, this is now a little more right in the middle. It says, consider the moderate portfolio. If you're comfortable with a moderate amount of risk and you're willing to accept a moderate amount of risk for high potential returns. And if you have a little longer of a time horizon investing. So that is the considerations for the moderate portfolio. Next, we have the moderately aggressive portfolio. With the moderately aggressive portfolio, you're now composed of 20% bonds and 80% stocks. So this is heavily a stock tilted portfolio with a very small amount of bonds. And if you scroll beneath this, as you can see, you'll find the holdings in that portfolio and beneath that, the 10 year projection as well. And scrolling back up to the top, you'll also can click on considerations. And you'll see now the risk level has shifted from green to yellow. This is a higher risk portfolio, but also the potential for higher returns. It says, consider the moderately aggressive portfolio if you're comfortable with a higher amount of risk and if you're willing to accept a higher amount of risk for higher potential returns. And if you have a longer investing time horizon, this is the moderately aggressive portfolio. And lastly, you have Acorn's aggressive portfolio this portfolio, as you could see, is composed of 0% bonds and 100% stocks. Again, just like all the other portfolios, you can scroll down, view the percentage breakdown of each holding inside that portfolio, as well as the 10 year projection. I also forgot to mention with every, uh, eat with.
I also forgot to mention with each ETF inside the portfolio, this little green percentage on the right hand side is basically saying how much of that ETF is composed in that portfolio. So this aggressive portfolio is made up of 55% VOO, the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. That is basically what that percentage is saying. And again, the considerations for this portfolio, it's a higher risk investment. It says, if you're comfortable, consider, it says, consider this portfolio if you're comfortable with maximum risk and you're willing to maximize your risk to maximize your returns and you have a longer time investment horizon. Once you choose your desired portfolio, you simply click on where it says change to this portfolio on the bottom. That will update your portfolio to your appropriate risk level. Those are the five core investing portfolios on Acorns, and you can change your portfolio type at any time right here in the settings. Now, if you back out of here and you click back on the edit tab, you'll also see some other investment options for your portfolio. The first is Bitcoin. Now, while you cannot invest in Bitcoin directly on Acorns, they do allow you to add a small percentage of your portfolio to a Bitcoin linked ETF. If you click on Bitcoin here, as you can see, they'll let you diversify your portfolio by investing anywhere from one to 5% in a Bitcoin linked ETF. That particular ETF, if you scroll down here, is BITO. That's the Bitcoin linked ETF you'll be investing in. And depending on your portfolio, whether it's conservative all the way to aggressive, that will determine the one to 5% you invest in Bitcoin if you want to. So if you want to, you simply click on this add to your portfolio button in the bottom, and that will add some Bitcoin exposure to your Acorns portfolio. And that will take us back to the investing homepage on Acorns. So that was all under the Acorns individual investment account. But if you scroll beneath that, you'll also see the option to open up an Acorns later retirement account. If you click on later, this will open up the option to open up an IRA, an individual retirement account on Acorns. Acorns offers traditional IRAs, Roth IRAs, and SEP IRAs. You would simply click on next and proceed to open up an IRA that's right for you. Now you can have both an IRA, a retirement account, and an individual investment account in Acorns. And if you have both, you'll be able to track them and monitor them both from this investing tab of your Acorns app. And just like the individual investment account, all the investing automation features and the core portfolios we just went over are also available on your Acorns Later retirement account, just the same. And if we scroll beneath Acorns Invest and Acorns Later retirement accounts, you'll also see Acorns Early accounts. Now, Acorns Early are custodial accounts for your kids where you can open up an investment account for your children and invest on their behalf. And when they reach the age of transfer and become legal adults, that investment account then automatically transfers to their name. Now, in addition to the investment portfolios and the investment automation features on Acorns, you'll also find an Acorns checking account integrated inside the same Acorns app. On the very bottom of the app, next to the investing button, you'll see a banking tab. If you click on banking, that will open up your Acorns checking account. The Acorns checking account also comes with the Acorns Visa debit card that links to the Acorns checking account. And from here, you can monitor your banking balance if you click on checking right here, you can view your balance. You can transfer in, transfer out, manage checks, as well as find their ATM locator. Now, if we back out of here and we go back to the banking tab of Acorns, you can do other things such as setting up a recurring deposit into your Acorns checking account. You also have the option to get paid early with direct deposit and set up direct deposit into your Acorns checking account. So those are just some of the other features inside the Acorns banking account. Again, it's nice that it integrates directly with your Acorns investment account all inside the same app. Now, the last major feature of Acorns is Acorns Earn. If you click on the earning tab on the very bottom right corner, this will open up their integrated cashback program inside the same app. What separates Acorns Earn from other cashback programs is that not only can you earn cash back when you make everyday purchases, but that cash back is then automatically invested for you into your Acorns portfolio. With Acorns Earn, they've partnered with hundreds of different online retailers, major retailers, and even local retailers to get you cash back. Now, if you would like to try Acorns, I do have referral links below with signup bonuses for Acorns, along with all my favorite investing apps at my personal website, investingapps.com. From my years of testing several investing apps, Acorns is certainly one of the most simple to use for beginners, hands-off investors, and those who prefer having all their accounts in one place. If you'd like to see how Acorns compares to these other top robo-advisors, check out this video right here where I compare some of the top investing apps with Acorns. 
And if you'd like to learn more about how to use all the best features Acorns has to offer, check out my other Acorns tutorial videos right down here.